in a different universe. A parallel universe. A Marvel universe. What is up, Noobas? Yes, we are here today for another episode of Speedsaw. Sa. So this little guy is playing with So yes, I had uh, people asking me about this, so I'm making this video. But please keep in mind, far from being a pro, I'm just sharing what I know in my experiences. If you feel that I've said something wrong, or if you want to add some more context, please leave a comment below. And other than that, uh, let's start. Sometimes at outdoor fields, I do have players that will come up and be like, Hey noob, like, you know, I'd like to see you slide on gravel. And you know, it's all good because we're just having a laugh, just having some fun. But going on forums, uh, I do notice that there are a good amount of people who sincerely have some misplaced conceptions. Uh, making statements such as, you know, how, how is this sliding tactical combat situation? Hmm? Hmm? i like to see you slide around in the forest. Hmm? So this kind of reminds me of the joke of when cars and roads were first introduced in Taiwan and to prevent, you know, traffic chaos, somebody said, you know, you guys just all drive on the right side. A certain smart ass jumped down and be like, oh yeah, well, who's going to be driving on the left side? Hmm? Hmm? If you meet an F1 driver, you're not going to all of a sudden feeling all smart like, oh yeah, oh you drive F1? I would like to see how you're going to drive that in the desert. Hmm? 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 But anyways, let's get back to the topic of slides. So I see many players use paintball knee pads. First of all, this definitely has been influenced by players from abroad who in turn were influenced by paintball players. Now, don't forget, paintball fields are covered with real or fake grass. EU speed could be even like waters to ground, like between games. So under these conditions, paintball knee pads apply, but in Taiwan, we're running on concrete floors in most indoor CQB fields, meaning that, you know, if you run and slide on paintball knee pads, after a few times, the, the cloth exterior is going to get worn out and you're not even going to slide that far. So for us here, you need to find plastic, plastic cover. Yeah. Plastic. Plastic covered knee pads. Paintball knee pads would be something that I personally would advise against, but it's up to you. Just remember though, knee pads are essential for football slides, uh, not as much for Superman slides or chest slides, whatever you want to call it, but knee pads are just important overall. You don't want to like putting your knees down on like a bunch of shattered BBs. That just hurts. I had done that before, ouch. Not fun. So due to the competitive layout, island hopping from one cover to another is how you move about and stay mobile. It's the most efficient and quickest way to go from one cover to another compared to the usual like running and then like dabbing to a stop. Uh, sliding creates a smaller hitbox for you while keeping the momentum of speed in a short period of time and distance. Also comparing to dabbing to a stop while shooting on the move where the accuracy is drastically affected every time your foot steps down. The only way to improve accuracy is for you to slow down. When you dive, after the initial shock of impact, you have a relatively more stable shooting platform and maintaining speed and momentum while you're sliding into the next cover. Okay, football slide, so that's what I do. When you do this, you reduce your hitbox by half, but this would require you to have knee pads, like I said, and uh, you need to slightly modify your shoes. You see here, I place my shoelace with zip tie and I'll use duct tape to tape up my shoes. So here in Taiwan, when you're sliding on concrete floors, uh, after I slid the first time, my shoelace just broke. So that will just help protect your shoes and just get cheap shoes. You don't want to use expensive shoes. Okay, so Superman slide, uh, be mindful of your gear. So if you got like a vest or a chest rig, it's not gonna work. It is possible to shoot while Superman sliding, uh, but depends on what gears and guns you're rocking. 
If you're running with a pistol, with a mag adapter, or HPA, or like a like AG with, with stock, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. So you just gotta be very mindful of your gun when landing, okay? So that's why you see Ema here sliding while shooting, because he's running a pistol with a regular mag. I think lateral sliding is more uh, efficient and effective in bigger and larger fields. The limitation and confinement of space for us here also meant positions such as mids and backs are pretty much blended together. Um, there isn't that big of a distinction between these two roles. Lateral slides are also very advantageous uh, depending on the situation, but sliding on one knee is less balanced, but it helps you get back on your shooting position and platform much faster and easier. This is like a level up version of Superman slide. So if you can't do Superman slide, you can't do this slide. Uh, but it's, it's very particular on your gear. Again, same thing. What this is, is basically your initial Superman slide. You jump in, right? After you land it, you keep your gun, point forward, but then you push up with your leg. You can use your legs and push yourself up to like a very good position to get that angle on somebody. You don't want to dive in and pop with your gun pointed down and boom, your gun's done. So usually what they do is you dive in and then you put your hands down and gun up like this first. You land like this. But anyways, yes, that's it on sliding and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Oh yeah, by the way, I just about cleaned up from recording, but uh, I forgot to say that um, there's a good channel to check out, which is uh, How To Play Paintball. I think that's the name, but this guy breaks down on a lot of techniques and drills to run, how to practice. Uh, so it's really good if you want to practice your uh, tournament and your skill set. All right, so go check him out. I'll leave the link to his channel and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.